Hello everyone. So the final thing we want to talk about with binary search trees is how to delete data out of them. Um, deletion is a little tricky because we need to preserve the binary search tree property that uh, the left subtree is less than the current node and the right subtree is all greater than the current node. But we need to get stuff out of the tree. Um, so we have to disturb this tree. Like, what happens if we want to delete this node or the value of this node? What's going to happen? Uh, what's the procedure for doing that? So, um, of course, it's a little tricky, but we have algorithms for that. Essentially, what we will need to do is we're going to consider three different scenarios and deal with each one of them a little bit differently. Okay, so our delete operation is going to be fairly complex, but once we break it down, uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. But let's make sure we have a really good understanding of what we're doing to the tree. Okay, so we want to remove a node containing a target. So let me put um, let me put a target in here somewhere. Mm -mm -mm. Simple, and we'll say that the t actually you know what it's. Oh my goodness gracious, it doesn't like that at all. Let's try this a different way. Uh, insert this. There we go. All right, let's say our target is the number, the value four. And let me uh, pretty it up a little, only a little. Okay. All right, so here's my target. It's number four. Um, okay and I'll make him, uh, let's just make him dark red so we can pull him out. All right, so we need to find first, okay, we want to delete. We want to delete the node that contains the, the key for, or the, the item for, okay? So how we go about this process is gonna depend on where in the tree that four is, okay? so. In any case, what we will need to do is we will need to find the target node where it is and that target's parent, okay? So let me just make some markers for the, uh, the target, target node, and the parent node, okay? So, all right. So um, let's say let's look at one scenario. So the first scenario is when the target has no children. In other words, it is a leaf node. Okay, so like this guy down here. Okay, this is scenario one. The target is down there at the bottom. Let me just, let me just try and highlight these a little bit. Um, okay, so scenario one. All right, now in this scenario, the target is this node here, right? And the parent is this node here, okay? So what we will have to do is we need an algorithm that finds both the target node and the parent node and get, like gets a reference to them. Now, fortunately for you, I'm gonna give you that code because it's a little tricky. It's basically though a variation of the search algorithm, but I'm gonna use the iterative version of the search algorithm, this guy, and tweak it a little bit so that it keeps track of and returns both the target and the parent, as well as whether or not it even found the target. Because it could be the case where you try and delete something that's not in the tree, right? You're gonna have to handle that differently uh, in your code according to the specs. But anyway, let's say four lives here and we wanna delete it. Okay, well just looking at this tree, how do you delete this guy? Well, it's pretty easy. You just need to tell the parent hey, forget about this child, right? So just get rid of this link. Kind of like deleting something in the linked list, right? You just forget about the link. Um, and that's it, right? Not too bad there, all right? So that's how you would get rid of, in scenario one, the parent just deletes the child. They forget about him. Right. So obviously you have to know whether it's the left child or the right child, um, but that's a, a simple if statement that you can do on the parent. Okay. So uh, that's how you chop out the case where the target is there. 
All right, let's um, let's grab this and let's take number four and let's put them in scenario two. Scenario number two is where the target node has one child. Okay, so let's say that instead what we were deleting is this guy right here, number four. Okay, so number four up now in this case. Um, so number four here, we want to delete this node. This node has one child. It's got two descendants, but only one child, the right child. So this is our target. Okay. Now who's the parent of this node? The parent of this node is going to be this node above it. Okay. So just look at this scenario. If I need to delete this, what should I do? What do you think I should do? I have to maintain that binary search tree property. Well, everybody to the left of this guy, so everyone in this subtree, is less than whatever value is up here. Right? So an easy thing to do here is going to be, let's just um, take this guy here, right? Let's find the one child. This is the case where the target node has one child. And what we want to do is basically adopt him. Right? Oh, Lord, where to go? <laughs> I made it very unhappy. There we go. Um, we want to adopt him and forget about this link here. Okay? So the parents, whoever the target is, if it's the left child, we say, oh, forget about your old left child, adopt your grandchild. Right? This is the case where this node only has one child. It's called adoption. Okay, So um, we need to know both the target and the parent for that. And we, we do know this locate no method is going to give that for us. Okay, So that's the second scenario. The, far, the final scenario is when the target has two children. And this is a little more complex. So let's kind of go to the most complex case here. Um, let's go to the case where we the target is in this node here. Oops. You know, word wasn't really meant for this sort of thing. Um, then again, we weren't meant to be learning online either. We were supposed to be in classes, rooms, going over this with whiteboards and handouts, and it'd be all sorts of fun. All right, so now, scenario three. We're in the scenario where we want to delete a target that has two children, okay? That's a little dark there. Um, so what are we going to do? We need to replace the data in this node with his right mo leftmost right descendant. In other words, his in-order successor. All right, uh, let's get a better example, actually. Um, we don't need to worry about, let's say we're deleting the root here. We're actually deleting the root. So the parent in this case is gonna be none, okay? We wanna replace the data we're not going to actually delete a node in this case. We're going to replace his data with the from the in order successor, which is the leftmost right descendant, and then delete that successor. Whew. Okay. So, who is the right the leftmost right descendant? So we will go right and then go as far left as we can. Okay, so in that case, the leftmost right descendant would be this node here. Now what you will know, what you can be guaranteed about this node here, is that it has the next highest value in the tree. Okay, um, if you have any doubt of that, let's kind of go back, let's go back to this one. Say we were deleting this root. Okay, it says find the right, the leftmost right descendant. Okay, if we go right 
and then find the leftmost person. It's Louisiana here. If you just glance at this tree, you'll see that Louisiana is actually the next value in order after Kansas. Okay. Same thing over here. Eight. Find, for deleting eight, find, and eight has two children, find the leftmost right descendant. Well, we go right. Well, there's no more left here. Right? So we're going to replace 8 with 11. And in fact, 11 is the next highest value in this tree. So this replacing of the deleted value with the leftmost right descendant effectively puts um, the next highest value in that place where you want to delete. Okay, so this is the successor node right here. This guy is the successor. And what we're saying is replace this value, get rid of it. Okay, we're going to get rid of this value. Delete the 4 and replace it with the 5. then, then delete the in order successor. So now delete this guy, okay? Well, how do you delete that guy? Okay, well, you will apply the algorithm for deleting either the target with one child or a target with no children, okay? The leftmost right success, uh, leftmost right descendant is not going to have two children by definition. It's either going to have one child or two children. So then you say, all right, replace the value, then delete this guy following either scenario one or scenario two. Okay. Whew, it's a lot. Okay. This code here, which I give to you, will find the in order successor of any given node. Okay. Um, it's a lot to process, but all of this is done with the intention of keeping that binary search tree property of making sure that left subtrees are less than the current node and right subtrees are greater than the current node. Okay, so let's go down here and let's just tap in this algorithm. Now, I am not gonna give you the code for it. Your job, I give you this code here. In your tree map, you have to implement the delete function. Okay, so it's going to be your job to translate this concepts into uh, actual code, all right? So if the target has two children, you are going to find the nodes in order successor, which is going to be the leftmost right descendant, and I give you the code for that, and that successor's parent, you need both the successor and its parent because you're going to delete this person. Okay, but I give you that code right here. Once you have found that person, you're going to replace the value in the node to delete with the successor's value. And then finally, delete successor node using the strategy below because the successor node has at most one child. Okay, so what's the strategy for deleting when you've got no or just one child? Well, you need to select the target node's non empty child, okay, if one exists. Okay. Then if the target is the root node, we need to do something special. Then the root gets the non-empty child. Okay. Else, oh, kind of, let's get everything up here on one page. Else, replace the parent's reference to the target node with the child. This is adoption. Okay. Whew. All right. So again, 
having this really strong visual is going to serve you well here. Okay, I'm providing you with these helper methods, but it is going to be your job to fill in the delete item method. And it's not going to be a short method. It's probably going to be the most complicated method you've written. But now you have the pseudocode for it. You have the algorithm for it. If I can get that algorithm to show back up, right? All right. So this is the idea of deletion. Um, talked a lot about binary search trees. Uh, I want you to be really comfortable with binary search tree operations. You're going to get practice implementing them in your tree map. But more importantly, you, you very much need to be very comfortable with how deletion works, how search works, how traversals work, and how insertion works in a binary search tree along with all of the tree lingo because it's going to factor very heavily into your final exam, especially at the conceptual level. All right, so good luck with everything. Please let me know if you have any questions and best of luck with the rest of the semester. Talk to you soon.